ACEN TV is proud to present the high school football game of the week. The tradition continues here on KCEN. I'm Kim Sapp, Bridge Buddy High School cheerleader, and I'd like to welcome you to the Channel 6 Game of the Week. Go Eagles! From Jack C. Hayes High School near Austin, this is the Channel 6 High School Football Game of the Week. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another exciting night of high school football here on Channel 6. My name is Dale Caffey, alongside, as always, Butch Henry, and tonight a bi-district clash in Class 1A between the Bruceville Eddie Eagles and the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors, a couple of Class A teams who are fired up tonight, and it should be a great game, Butch. It should be. Of course, Bruce Valetti is uh, about 17 or 18 miles outside of Waco. Ingram is about 8 or 10 miles outside of Kerrville, so they both had a long bus ride to get here. They certainly did. Let's talk a little bit about the Bruce Valetti Eagles. They're coached by Bill Hunter, who also serves as the high school principal. He gets along with kids very well. He's a good coach, and his record shows it. The Eagles bring into this game a 9-2 and two record, having lost only their first game of the season to a Class 2A high school, that being Moody, and also lost to Class 1A, Bremont. Of course, Bremont ranked number one in the state right now in Class 1A high school football. On offense, they'll run a wide variety of offensive alignments, from the I formation to the double wing, and the also Eagles some of the broken bone formation. They're led on record. offense by Rusty Hunter, the coach's son who is doing his dad proud this year, and for that matter, the whole team and the whole community proud. Just he has reached the 1,200-yard rushing mark on no the year, much. averaging 110 yards per game. The quarterback is Robert McKee, who is very versatile. He has to be, because they run so many wide varieties of offensive alignments on offense, of course. And on defense, they pride themselves on their defense. Of the nine wins Bruce Valetti has this year, Eagles eight record. are on shutouts. Now, on defense, you want to look for Tim Meyer. He is a linebacker and also Alan Trigg a tackle. Meyer second. averaging 15 tackles per game One and Trigg low. averaging 10 tackles per game. And Three also, deep. defensive end um, Tim Moore tends to haunt the quarterback on the opposing game. side. He has six quarterback sacks on the season. He'll be looking to get to Ingram Tom Moore's quarterback tonight because that who... That is who the Bruce Valetti Eagles have to go up against tonight. And from what I understand, they have a pretty tough battle on their hands, Butch. I believe they will, Dale. The Ingram Tom Moore High School Warriors. That is a mouthful. They're only in their fourth year of existence. Under head coach Tucker Rackley, they won District 14A. Their season record is eight wins and two losses. The two losses come at the hands of two A teams, Junction and Menard. They run out of the high formation. They're led by their quarterback, Brian Thompson. He is a good passer and he has stolen the ball for 970 yards. The leading rusher and a young man you better keep a close eye on tonight is the tailback number 22, Alvin Leonard. He has rushed for 1,100 yards. His counterpart, the fullback, Gary Wilson, has 960 yards rushing. So it's a pretty good tandem back there, and those two young men have over 2,000 yards between them rushing. As far as receiving, look for him to go to the split end most of the time tonight. His name is Arch Graham. Defensively, the Warriors run out of a 4-3 alignment, and they're led by their linebacker, and he is a fine one. The middle linebacker, number 75, his name is Leslie Van Hooser. So I tell you what, they're excited tonight in Ingram, Texas, and they're ready to tee it up. It should be a great ball game. We'll be back with more pregame activities in just a moment. But first of all, we would like for you to meet some of the athletes who will be playing in tonight's game. This is the Trails End Ranch and Campground at Bruceville, Texas. What is your favorite activity at Trails End? I'm talking. Sitting with my friends. Picnic and cookouts. I like walking in the woods. They're beautiful. We have family get-togethers at the clubhouse. I love wading in the creek. Or just giving me a nap under a shade tree. It's fun for all ages at Trails End, Bruceville, Texas. It's one mile east of Interstate 35, halfway between Temple and Waco. This holiday season, add some homemade charm to your decor with beautiful Christmas decorations from Old South Antiques in Eddy. Go by and visit Joy Lynn Du Bois and Willard Murray at Old South Antiques. They have some beautiful ideas for gifts as well as a great selection of antiques that give your home a special, unique look. See the charming collection of Christmas decorations and ornaments at Old South Antiques, from wood to ceramic. For a truly beautiful holiday season, remember Old South Antiques. Wishing good luck to the Bruceville Eddy Eagles. A lot of folks have learned that Moody Furniture is the place to go for the finest in furniture values at the lowest prices. At Moody Furniture, you'll find the name brands you know, such as American Drew, Riverside, Dixie. 
Serta, just to name a few. But you won't find high prices to cover the costs of fancy displays and expensive buildings. Moody Furniture offers the most convenient terms with approved credit and Visa MasterCard. So take the short drive from Waco or Temple to Moody Furniture and see the four huge showrooms of fine furniture. Some folks like it so much, they want to stay. Moody Furniture on Highway 317. Stop by Miracle's Food Store in Eddie or Mini Max and Moody and take advantage of the big savings. TV brand U.S. grade Tom Turkey, 20 pounds and up, only 49 cents a pound. Delicious Blue Bell ice cream, a low 2.59 a half gallon. Two liter bottles of Dr. Pepper, 87 cents each. Fresh celery, 38 cents a stock. Every day is a special day of savings at the Mini Max and Moody or Miracle's Food Store in Eddie. While shopping, check out the fresh, crisp produce section or the always top quality selection of meat from the meat market. Miracle's Food Store in Eddie and Mini Max and Moody, wishing the Eagles the best of luck. Hello, I'm Bill Hunter, head coach at Bruce Valetti High School, and I'd like you to meet the coaching staff and traveling squad of our 1983 Eagles. Robert Duty, defensive coach. Jim Miller, specialty teams. I'd like to say hello to our talent scout, Skippy Vanston. Tim Meyer, play fullback and linebacker. I'm a senior. James Johnson, wing back, defensive safety, and I'm a junior. Paul Tilly, junior, split in, and okay. safety. Anthony Johnson, fullback, defensive end, junior. Joe Hogan, sophomore, split in, defensive back. Rusty Hunter, tailback, defensive cornerback, senior. Clifford Caldwell, tailback, senior. Tim Williams, junior, safety. Darren Griffin, senior, guard, nose guard. Kevin Crumnow, senior, center, defensive tackle. Dale Brumble, senior, deep offensive tackle. Martin Saucedo, sophomore, left guard. Joe Davis, Jimenez, tackle and linebacker. Ralph Eberspacher, senior, no, uh, tackle. <laughs> Alan Trigg, senior, offensive, tight end, defensive tackle. Robert McKee, senior, offensive quarterback and defensive back. Randy Cortese, junior, tight end. Rick Goff, junior, split end. Andy Casey, guard and defensive end. Tim Moore, senior, guard. Jeff Odom, freshman, center. Joey Duleon, freshman, split in. Michael Frosch, freshman, fullback. Johnny Gonzalez, freshman, fullback. Fritz K, student manager. He's Andrew, student manager. This holiday season, add a little extra beauty to your home with fresh flowers from Flowers and Things. For a truly exquisite Thanksgiving table, try the nice touch of a floral arrangement from Flowers and Things. And Christmas time is a perfect time to let loved ones know how special they are. Treat them with flowers or a gift of beauty from Flowers and Things. Just give them a call in Moody and they'll do the fixing. That's Flowers and Things at 103 South Main in Moody. Call 853-2151. Now's the time to begin thinking about Christmas and for gifts. How about sportswear from the Sport About? You'll find a great selection of warm ups, t shirts, jackets, and more. And the Sport About handles custom orders for large groups like schools. How about matching caps and jackets for your large group? Ask about the Sport About's layaway plan for Christmas. And especially for outdoorsmen, the Sport About now has hunting and fishing licenses available. Visit the Sport About, 207 3rd Street in Eddy, backing the Bruce Valletti Eagles all the way during the 83 playoffs. Hargrove Central Station in Eddy is now under new ownership and ready to serve you better than ever before. Hargrove Central Station carries regular and unleaded gasoline, plus they'll fix flats and do minor mechanical work. You'll be pleasantly surprised by their friendly service. Hargrove Central Station even does windows. New owners Raymond and Lucy Hargrove are eager to serve you, so go by and see Tim Hargrove and Terry Rogers at Hargrove Central Station, soon to be a full service station. Open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on FM 107 in downtown Eddy. Hargrove Central Station wishing good luck to the Bruce Folletti Eagles during the playoffs. Moody Drug and Variety, established in 1881. 
the oldest pharmacy in Central Texas. That means you get years of experience combined with modern methods. Moody Drug and Variety has a large selection of toys, Hallmark cards, Russell Stover candies, vitamins, school supplies, sewing needs, gifts, and even an old-time soda fountain. Plus, all your pharmacy supplies and needs. Visit the friendly people at Moody Drug and Variety, 500 Avenue E in downtown Moody, supporting the Bruceville Eddie Eagles all the way. Welcome back to Jack C. Hayes Stadium on the campus of Hayes Consolidated High School near Austin. Dale Caffey along with Butch Henry bringing you this bi-district football game in Class 1A between the Bruceville Eddie Eagles and the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors. The Eagles representing District 13, the Warriors District 14. It should be a good football game there. Of course, it's uh, rather windy tonight. They said the wind is uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 30. The wind is blowing from right to left as you look at the field right now. And I'm kind of confused on my directions, but I believe the wind is still out of the south, although there is supposed to be a northern wind later tonight. It would switch the wind to the north with some thunder showers. I don't know uh, if you research the Ingram Tomore Warriors, the Bruce Moretti Eagles don't pass the ball that awful much. And so the wind will probably not affect them very much. How about uh, the Warriors? The Warriors do throw the football. The quarterback, Brian Thompson, passing is his forte. You get a good look at just coming to the bottom right hand of your screen. There you see the Ingram Warriors. They're decked out in all black uh, with red trim. Remind me a lot of the West Trojans. We're rating the entrance now of the Bruce Lady Eagles. Uh, to the left of your screen, there's a big sign, and I certainly hope those young cheerleaders can hold that sign up without it blowing over. And speaking of cheerleaders, I'd like to thank the two young ladies that did our pregame with us, the cheerleader from Ingram, Texas, Lisa Plant, and from Bruce Lady Kim Sapp. They did a good job, and we want to thank them for their help. Right now, meeting at the center of the field, captain for both the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors and the Bruceville Eddie Eagles. And in just a moment, we will join the coin flip, and you will be able to hear what is going on out there. Number 23, Gary Wilson. Where did he and as you witnessed on the field, Bruce Valetti won the toss and chose to take their option in the second half thus giving Ingram and Tom Moore the first half choice. They chose to receive the ball. They will be receiving it on the south end, or rather the north end of the field, which is to the left-hand side of your screen and to the south end. And defending that goal will be the Bruceville Eddie Eagles. Coach? I talked to Coach Bill Hunter from Bruce Lady, and he said if he did win the toss, he was going to put the ball back in their court, let them make the decision. Incidentally, the officials tonight are out of the San Antonio chapter Referee is Bob Knocker, the umpire is L.A. Pitt, line judge Dean Smith, and the head linesman Lynn Wigert. And there's a good look at that Bruce Valetti sign, and boy, with that win, here come the Eagles. And the Eagles did not let the win have a chance at that sign. They burst through it as soon as it was raised up for them. And the Bruce Valetti Eagles now making their entrance, and we will be back with the opening kickoff of tonight's game right after these messages. If you're looking for a new, exciting hairstyle to give your total look a boost, trust the professionals at the Uppercut. Arlen, Margie, Jim, and Marcella are eager to give you an individual look. They offer creative hairstyling from shampoos, cuts, and blow dries to the most professional perms and color. The Uppercut, conveniently located in the Central Texas Tower at 5400 Bosque in Waco, across from Lake Air Mall and next to the new HEB. For the look you want, see the people who have innovative, exciting ideas. The people at the Uppercut, backing the Bruce Valetti Eagles during the playoffs. When it comes to quality Phillips products, contact BP Bostic Oil Company in Eddy. They offer bulk deliveries of Phillips 66 gasoline, including diesel, and all major brands of oil. Call BP Bostic Oil Distributor at 859-5820 in Eddy. Plus, you'll receive friendly service and quality Phillips gasoline at Hargrove Central Station of Eddy and Danny's Service Station of Lorena. Both offer competitive prices along with minor automotive repair. BP Bostic Oil Company in Eddy, backing the Bruceville Eddy Eagles all the way. 
If you have some type of property to sell, you owe it to yourself to call Joe Frerich of Joe Frerich Auction Service. They handle farm and ranch dispersal and can help you sell tractors or any other type of farm equipment. Or, if you have a business going out of business, Joe Frerich Auction Service is ready to help. They also handle antique and estate sales. Think about it. What would you rather have? One person making an offer on your property or many bidding to get it? Call Joe Frerich Auction Service, 817-853-2738 in Eddy, Texas. Escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Stop by the First National Bank of Moody, a country bank large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. First National Bank of Moody, established in 1892 with beautiful marble walls and bronze bars, a step into the days of the Old West. Our friendly staff has the experience and know-how to provide all your banking needs. Buy a new home or car, see Moody Bank. Extra cash, a savings account, or an IRA, see Moody Bank. The First National Bank of Moody, on the corner of 7th and Avenue D, downtown Moody, member FDIC, supporting the Bruceville Eddie Eagles all the way. Welcome back to Jack C. Hayes Stadium, where the Bruceville Eddie Eagles and the Ingram Tomlin Warriors are just about to kick off in this bi-district Class 1A high school football game. They'll, the, uh, the Warriors will be receiving on the left of your screen. Like we said, they're in all black. The Eagles will be kicking off from the right of your screen. They're decked out in white jerseys with gold pants and the black and gold numerals and, and white helmets. So as far as the opening kickoff is concerned, the Warriors will be receiving and be moving from left to right on your screen. Uh, there's a good contingent of fans from uh, both schools down here because uh, both of them have a long way to drive. And I know if the Bruce and Eddie fans came through the city of Austin, if they got caught in that bottleneck we did, they did have a an accident in Austin and it tied up traffic on the South Interstate in the southbound lane and I think it took us about 40 minutes to get through the city of Austin. Right now number 33 Kevin Williams has the ball on the tee and Williams gets us underway and this kick will come down short and falls into the hands of number 12 Randy John. John had his or rather that number being number 22 Scott Sanders or Alvin Leonard rather let's get those names right. Leonard's knee touched the ground, and that's where they're going to have to take over first and 10. Ball spotted at just about the 12-yard line. How about the offensive starters for the Ingram Warriors? They split in Randy John, tight end Pete Telford, tackles Richard Sanders and Jason Poppy, guards Dwayne Dewey and Jack Cunningham. The center is Vasily Diaz. Quarterback Brian Thompson, tailback is Alvin Leonard, fullback is Gary Wilson, and the flanker is Bobby Stevenson. First and ten, and we'll get to the, we'll get to the Bruceville Eddie's starting defense in just a moment. On first and ten, the handoff to number 22, Alvin Leonard. Leonard brought down after a gain of a couple of yards. It'll be second down and eight. Tackle made by Kevin Crumno. We should see two excellent runners tonight. Is the Rusty Hunter from Bruceville Eddie and also uh, Alvin Leonard from Ingram, both of them have rushed for over 110 yards per game. Uh, Leonard has 1,100 yards, and I believe you said Hunter has a little bit over 1,200. Is that correct? That is correct. Second down and eight. And this time, the handoff to number 33, Gary Wilson with the ball. He's up across the 15-yard line to about the 16. It'll be third down and about four. Jim Meyer making the stop for Bruceville Eddy. Quickly now, the Bruceville Eddy starting defense, the nose guard. Number 62, Darren Griffin. The tackles are Kevin Crumno and Alan Trigg. The ends, Anthony Johnson and Tim Moore. The linebackers, Tim Meyer and Joe Jimenez. The cornerbacks, Rusty Hunter and Robert McKee. And the safeties, Paul Tilly and Kevin Williams. Third down and three. And this time the pitch back to number 22, Sanders with the ball. And Sanders is going to have enough for the first down as he crosses the 20 out of about the 23-yard line before Kevin Williams can bring him down. There we have our reverse angle replay set up again now. We can see from across the screen. You can see the pitch sweep that time. That was the 22. That's not Sanders. That is Alvin Leonard. He picked up the first down for the Warriors. But the reverse angle replay... Uh, we have cameras set up on the opposite side of the field. It's microwaved over down into our truck, and then you see it from both sides of the field, and it's, uh, it gives you a different outlook. First and 10, Bobby Stevenson put wide to the right side, and it's a pass to the short side of the field, complete to number 20, Trey Fisher. Fisher quickly brought down by Robert McKee. 
But a gain of about eight yards on the play. It's going to be second down and short. Gain of about nine yards, but Henry second down and one. That was just a little looky in pattern, just a quick, uh, quick slanting type pattern. Coach Hunter told me earlier they, that's the type of passes that they do like to throw, and uh, of course that was good for nine yards. We'll see more of that tonight. Second down and one, and once again number 45, Bobby Stevenson, split wide to the right side. The eye formation in the backfield, and the give to the first back through number 33, Gary Wilson. Wilson has enough for the first down as he crosses the 35-yard line, brought down by Rusty Hunter, but a first and 10 for the Warriors. They, of course, like in any playoff game, those first downs can prove to be very important. If the game should end up tied, they would go to penetration. If they should be tied in penetrations, then they would go to first downs to determine who would advance in the playoffs. First and 10. Number 80, Arch Graham split wide to the right side. The wing back in motion is number 45, Bobby Stevenson. And this time the pitch back, Alvin Leonard. And Leonard will be brought down for a little or no gain, possibly a loss on the play. Great pursuit by the Bruceville Eddie defense, led by Tim Meyer, the linebacker. Well, I heard that this Leonard youngster had good speed, but I think I can tell you for sure after seeing him, he does have good speed, and he's a game breaker in that. I said it's up second and long. We might come back and look at that little look in pass, maybe uh, from the right side this time. But they, they did have some success with it early. Second down and 11. Loss of a one yard on first down. But wide to the right side is Bobby Stevenson, the I formation in the backfield. And this time back to pass, quarterback Brian Thompson. And Thompson's pass is complete. To the near side, number 12 with the ball, Randy John with the reception. And that's going to be very close to a first down. I believe he does have a first down. Rusty Hunter bringing him down on the play. Here's that reverse angle catching one more time. You see the quarterback, Brian Thompson, rolling out, bootlegging the ball. He finds it split in. Randy John wide open for the first down. So uh, I've been very impressed so far with the passing ability of the Brian Thompson youngster from England. Arch Graham split wide to the right side. This time, the wing back is Stevenson, and he's in motion. Hand off to the tailback, Leonard. Leonard, once again, brought down for little or no gain on the play. Dale Grumble making the stop. Darren Griffin also in on the stop, and we have an injured Bruce Belletti Eagle down on the field now. It'll be second down and 10. And Butch, can you spot the young man's number? I cannot right now, Dale. I just, uh, I just hate, hate to see a kid getting these playoffs, but he'll be all right. We'll be back right after this. If you've been looking for one place that can handle all of your trailer and camper needs, come pay a visit to Duster Camper in McGregor. They offer building and repair on RVs, trailers, concession trailers, and any type of camper. Duster Camper's specialty is custom horse trailer interiors. Plus, Duster Camper supplies camper shells or covers made of fiberglass or aluminum, and they'll furnish you with most any RV appliance. Go by and visit with owners Richard and Anita Aberspacher. They'll be glad to custom build or improve any camper, motor home, trailer, or RV you have. That's Duster Camper, 100 North Garfield, off of Highway 84 in McGregor. Taylor Charlet Ranch has cattle for sale at all times. Charlet Ranch has purebred Charlet and Charbray, both horned and polled cattle for sale. Dr. Taylor at Charlet Ranch has been raising Charlet for 16 years, his herd is bangs free, and has a record of small birth weights. Charlet Ranch has year-old bulls for sale between 800 and 1,000 pounds, and two-year-olds from 12 to 1,400 pounds. Bulls are fertility tested and performance tested. Cattle are for sale at all times at the Taylor Charlet Ranch. Call 857-4520. Eddie Co-op, serving the area for 35 years. Stop by and check out our large selection of feed and tack, vaccine, seed, grain, farm supplies, and more. For horse supplies, Eddie Co-op is your one-stop place to shop with reasonable prices, convenient location, and friendly service. For your shopping convenience, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. and Saturdays, 8 till noon. Eddie Co-op has your farm supplies, feed, grain, tack, and more. So step by today. Eddie Co-op, Highway 107 at I-35 and Downtown Eddie. Les Taylor and his friendly staff wish the Bruce Valetti Eagles the best of luck in the playoffs. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete Contractors has been serving the Central Texas area with the finest concrete work for over 25 years. Family owned and operated, Cashin and Wilcox deals in all phases of the concrete business. From patios to foundations, Cashin and Wilcox has the expertise to give you a finished product that is long lasting 
and of the highest quality. For quality concrete work, call 773-0119. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete, 1717 West Avenue C in Temple. Dale Caffey along with Butch Henry back at uh, Jack C. Hayes Stadium near Austin. Bruce Valetti going up against Ingram and the young man injured number 59, Joe Jimenez, goes off the field under his own strength, appears to be all right, and we'll probably see him back in action before the night is out. Once again, it brings a second long for Ingram, and they've had good success on these types of situations. High formation in the backfield with Bobby Stevenson split wide to the right side. The give to the tailback, Leonard, and Leonard after a gain of a couple of yards is brought down near midfield in on the tackle Darren Griffin it'll be third down and eight I would say that this is definitely another passing situation and whether or not they will come back to the pass similar if they think well go to Randy John if they will come back to the little uh, quick look in pattern to the, uh, the flank of the split end but uh, time will tell there. third down a passing situation for quarterback Brian Thompson Thompson with a look in pass to complete to number 45, Bobby Stevenson. And Stevenson's brought down near the first down mark. Kevin Williams, or rather Rusty Hunter, making the stop. But that's going to be very, very close to another Ingram first down. But in the playoff game, it looks to me like he might have it. But they do want to measure and make sure everything's all right. That was that little uh, look in pass that uh, they ran from the other side. And the uh, Eagle defensive backs are playing off of it flanker about seven or eight yards and that enables them to pick up good yardage on that. We got a few people we'd like to thank right now. They'll soon as we look good, good sideline shot. He did make it by about the length of the football. That sideline shot was by Kay Clinton. It's great to have Kay back working with us tonight. I would like to thank the athletic director and head coach of Ingram Tom Moore High School, Tucker Rackley, the superintendent, Dr. Harry Griffith, and the principal, Carol Muffin. Also, Bill Hunter, who is the athletic director, head coach, and the principal of Bruce Lady High School, and Jim Payne, the superintendent, for their assistance in helping us put on this telecast or replay. Excuse me. Right now, a timeout on the field as Bruce Villetti chooses to call a timeout. And the whole team approaches the sideline to talk with Coach William Hunter, Bill Hunter. Then I cannot wait for tomorrow afternoon on KCEN TV, Channel 6, at 3 p.m. The Dallas Cowboys take on the Kansas City Chiefs. And then I don't know what you can say about uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night. Let's be looking at Bruce and Lady Cheerleaders on Channel 6. Part 1 of Kennedy will be Sunday night at 7 p.m. Part 2 will be Monday night. Of course, Part 3 will be Tuesday night. The John F. Kennedy story, of course, it is 20 years since that dreadful day. Uh, Martin Sheen stars at John F. Kennedy, and uh, they say it's going to be one of the greatest miniseries of the year, and I'm looking forward to that. Meanwhile, back on the field, Bruce Valetti has had their discussion with Coach Hunter and Coach Duty on the sideline. It's first and 10 for Ingram. Ball spotted at the Bruce Valetti 42-yard line. This time, Bobby Stevenson splits wide to the left side with the eye formation in the backfield. The tailback, Alvin Leonard. The fullback, Gary Wilson. This time, Wilson gets the call, and Wilson's brought down for a loss of a yard on the play. Fine pursuit that time by by Anthony Johnson. Loss of a yard will be second down and 11. Anthony Johnson did a good job at the time of kind of a submarine, submarining in there and making the tackle. He did an excellent job. He's speaking of Robert Duty while ago. I don't want to tell his age, but he was a fine quarterback in his own right at University High School back in the late 50s, and that's all I'm going to say. He's also a great defensive coordinator because nine or rather eight of the nine wins Bruce Mulhenny has are on shutouts, and this time Alvin Leonard gets the call, but he is brought down by Tim Moore. Moore brings him down in his own backfield, a loss of five more yards on the play, and now it's third down, and about 18 ball spotted right at midfield. We can have one more look at that from the uh, reverse angle. It's a pitch sweep, and I, I don't know what you can say. He just penetrated in there and made an excellent tackle. And that was good for a big loss. But Tim Moore from Bruce Valetti. We're back to the passing situation again, Dale. And I believe they got uh, too far to go to try that little quick looking pattern. So they may do some type of that boot play like they did earlier. Arch Graham split to the left side. Stevenson to the right. Back to pass goes Thompson. Thompson lets it go. And he has 
A receiver that he overthrows is number 80, Arch Graham. Fine coverage on the play. It'll be fourth down in a punting situation now for Ingram. Well, you realize he threw that ball with ease around 35 yards in the air against a very, very strong breach. The punter for uh, Ingram is Pete Telford, number 32. He is averaging around 38 yards per punt. Back deep for Bruce Rolletti is number 24, Rusty Hunter. Hunter gets it at his own 20-yard line. He's at the 25 looking for running room. Hunter still on his feet, finally brought down at about the 32-yard line. Gary Wilson in on the stop, and that is where Bruce Belletti will take over right after these very important messages. Kenneth and Joanne Ashley invite you to stop by Ashley's Texaco and Eddie for fast, friendly, and convenient service. You'll find low prices on self-service gas and oil. Supplies to make your next picnic one to remember. Cold drinks, groceries, ice cream, gas, and oil. All the reasons to make your next stop Ashley's Texaco. Stop by, shop, fill up, and visit with the friendly folks at Ashley Texaco on I-35 at the Eddie exit. Good luck, Bruce Valetti. Go Eagles. A lot of folks have learned that Moody Furniture is the place to go for the finest in furniture values at the lowest prices. At Moody Furniture, you'll find the name brands you know, such as American Drew, Riverside, Dixie, Serta, just to name a few. But you won't find high prices to cover the costs of fancy displays and expensive buildings. Moody Furniture offers the most convenient terms with approved credit and Visa MasterCard. So take the short drive from Waco or Temple to Moody Furniture and see the four huge showrooms of fine furniture. Some folks like it so much, they want to stay. Moody Furniture on Highway 317. In today's busy world, it's nice to know that there is a daycare center nearby that offers more than the others do. Little Rascal Daycare Center in Bruceville offers tender, loving care to your little ones. You'll know that your children are receiving the very best because Little Rascal Daycare is state licensed. Drop-ins are always welcome at Little Rascal, and they offer convenient hours, too. 6.45 to 5.45, Monday through Friday, for kids aged 6 weeks to 13 years. Little Rascal Daycare. Call 859-5970 in Bruceville. The following AMCO message is for everyone with transmission worries. Oh, no. Oh, no. Over half the people who've come to AMCO needed only minor repairs or service. Worried about your transmission? Oh, no. Come into AMCO. Double A. MCO. AMCO honors your extended mechanical warranty, so bring your transmission or drivetrain work to AMCO in Killeen, Temple, and Waco. Welcome back to Jack C.A. Stadium. Bruce Valetti with the ball for the first time tonight. On first and ten, Hunter, the ball carrier, the tailback. Hunter still on his feet, looking for running room, and what looked like would be a loss on the play turned into about a nine-yard gain. Rusty Hunter, who, as we mentioned in the pregame, has surpassed the 1,200-yard rushing mark of the season. A fine run there. Richard Sanders making the stop. I see they come out and huddle quick. Here come the Eagles again, Dale. First and ten this time from the eye formation. The wing back, number 33, Kevin Williams in motion. And this time the give to the fullback. Number 12, Anthony Johnson. Johnson crosses the 45-yard line. Brought down about the 46. Plenty for a first down. You realize that Ingram made up around seven and a half minutes of the clock going into the breeze, and uh, this will be Bruce Belletti's only third play, and right now they have pretty good field position there. Darrell Hogan splits wide to the left side. This is the double wing formation. And in motion goes Kevin Williams, and around to the left side, but finding no room. Robert McKee, the quarterback. But the play was whistled dead before it got a chance to develop. Quickly, we'll go through the starting lineups for the Bruce Valletti Eagles on offense. The quarterback, Robert McKee. The tailback, Rusty Hunter. The flanker is Kevin Williams. The fullback is Anthony Johnson. The split in is Paul Tilly. The tight end, Alan Trigg. The center, Kevin Crumno. The guards, Tim Moore and Darren Griffin. The tackles, Joe Jimenez and Dale Brumble. That was the... Uh, that was a big tight end, Allen Trigg, that time. It uh, kind of moved a little bit before the snap. Cost them five yards. Paul Tilly split wide to the right side, and in motion goes Williams. 
And this time to give to Johnson through the middle. Johnson up across the 45, up close to the, to the original line of scrimmage. And it's going to be second down and about 10. Leslie Van Hooser making the stop for the Warriors. Leslie Van Hooser is their leading tackler. And uh, I tell you, Dale, that'll win. It's really hooping it up and it's blowing right up in the press box. And uh, you can probably pick up some wind noise uh, from our microphone. We're doing the best we can. Second down and 10, double wing formation. And this time to give to Williams. Kevin Williams gains about a yard, maybe a yard and a half on the play before he is quickly brought down by Gary Wilson. It'll be third down and nine. And probably a good chance for quarterback Robert McKee to air it out a little bit, Butch. Still the starting defensive uh, alignment for England. The ends of John Gilbert and James Morris, the guards of Richard Sanders and Jason Poppy. Linebackers Leslie Van Hooser, Jack Cunningham, and Gary Wilson finish after one. Double wing formation once again on third and nine. Back to pass goes Robert McKee, the quarterback, gets it away. And this pass is going to be overthrown. That one intended for the flanker back, Kevin Williams. And I believe the wind sort of caught hold of that one and just took it for a ride, Butch. I mean, what is called hold of it? Number 50, James Morris, and number 55, Jason Poppy, were really penetrating in that backfield, and McKee just did not have time to really set up and throw properly. Finishing out the defensive starters, bring them the cornerbacks, Arch Graham and Randy Johns, strong safety, Alvin Leonard, and the weak safety, Trey Whitten. Kevin Williams is in deep punt formation. He'll be hunting deep to number 33, Gary Wilson. This ball is going to come down to Wilson at his own 10-yard line. He's at the 15, and he's going to be still on his feet as he hit hard but still on his feet and brought down finally at about the 17 yard line and that's where the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors will take over first and 10 and we'll be back when they have the ball right after this. Coming home after a hard day's work is a wonderful feeling and it's so nice to come home to a home built by Jim Bob Builders of Eddie. Jim Bob Builders will custom build a beautiful home of your dreams. They put up national homes and you can count on Jim Bob Builders to only use the best building materials. Plus a Jim Bob home is reasonably priced. The beauty and design of a home by Jim Bob Builders is a home to be proud of, one you will enjoy for a long, long time. Give Robert Clemens a call at 772-4515 in Eddie. Jim Bob Builders backing the Bruceville Eddie Eagles. When it comes to staying informed, keeping up with current events, it's nice to know you can count on your hometown newspaper, the Moody Courier. No other newspaper cares about Bruceville Eddie like the Moody Courier. For all your news, especially local news, read the Moody Courier. Also in Moody, you can find reasonably priced used furniture and appliances at Gates Used Furniture. You'll be able to save on quality furniture by buying it used from the friendly people at Gates Furniture. So if you need a new appliance or a piece of furniture for your home, save now at Gates Used Furniture in downtown Moody. Let's visit Trails End Ranch and Campground at Bruceville, Texas. What is your favorite activity at Trails End? Flying horses. Swimming with my friends. Picnic and cookouts. I like walking in the woods. They're beautiful. We have family get-togethers at the clubhouse. I love wading in the creek. Or just give me a nap under a shade tree. It's fun for all ages at Trails End, Bruceville, Texas. It's one mile east of Interstate 35, halfway between Temple and Waco. Brands Graphics. You may not be familiar with the name, but you've seen them before. On t-shirts, caps, jackets, sunglasses, even on today's top recording country artists. Trans Graphics designs, silk screens, and embroiders whatever you need for your team, club, church, school, business, or personal needs. Trans Graphics. For quality wholesale prices, visit Trans Graphics, 1212 North 25th Street in Waco. The stars do. I love Trans Graphics. Dale Cappy along with Butch Henry. Back in the bye this spring football game between the Bruce Valetti Eagles and the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors. No score in our game. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter of play. You probably wonder where Ingram got the name Tom Moore from their high school. I will tell you that a little later on, Dale Cappy. I can't wait, Butch Henry. Bobby Stevenson split wide to the right side. The eye formation in the back field. And this time, that little look-in pass intended for Randy John. This time overthrown. Good coverage on the play by Kevin Williams along with Tim Meyer. It's the second down and 10. Why don't you just tell us about Tom Moore? Well, there's a landowner. Lives in Ingram. His name is Tom Moore. 
and uh, he was very instrumental in getting a high school in Ingram. Up until four years ago, the kids in Ingram either had to go to high school at Harper or Kerrville. So Mr. Moore was instrumental in getting the high school, and so they named it after him, and I think uh, that was a very nice gesture. It certainly was a great tribute to a great man. Number 45, Bobby Stevens is split wide to the right side, and once again, the eye formation in the backfield, second and 10 for Ingram Tom Moore, then pitch back to Alvin Leonard, and Leonard still on his feet, gets a block, and he's up across the 30, still on his feet, looking for running room, and he's finally brought down at about the 35-yard line by Kevin Williams. Fine run that time, but generally by young Alvin Leonard. I think that young man is, young man is very, very excited. Here he comes. This is a regular angle. Now, three versus you see number 33 out there throwing a good block for him. That was Gary Wilson. He cuts back, and I'll tell you what, he, uh, he nearly went for the distance right there. First and 10, ball spotted at the 36-yard line of Ingram. This time the handoff to the fullback and a fumble on the play, and it appears that Bruceville Eddy has recovered. I believe number 64, Andy Casey. No, number 80 or 90, but generally who that was number that? I believe it was number 90. Looked to me like it was uh, Alan Trigg. Now we're getting an indication from our spotter, Keith Henry, that it was Joe Jimenez, number 59, recovering that fumble. At any rate, it's first and 10 for Bruce Valetti, and they have the ball in pretty good field position now at their own, or rather at the Ingram, 40, make that 39-yard line, and this time the pitch back to Rusty Hunter. Hunter looking for some running room. He's at the 30-yard line and forced out of bounds finally, and we have flags on the play. We have a flag on the far side where it appeared to be a late hit. And Butch Henry, we have one on the near side. It uh, would appear maybe to be holding or something of that sort. I would imagine they will bring that ball back and do the whole thing again because I'm pretty sure that there's an offsetting penalty, but we'll wait and see. There's a reverse angle. That's just a pitch sweep to Hunter. And you see he got, he's got good speed. He gets to the outside and right here. There might, might be a late hit right there because it looked like he was out of bounds. But there was another infraction that was could have been clipping against Bruce Lady, and that's what the referee is signaling personal foul so we're going to do the whole thing over that whole that beautiful play all comes back and starts over and the Bruce Lady will have the wind at their back for about another minute and 18 seconds now they will mark off I believe the penalty both ways Butch just awaiting to see what they're going to do on the field yes they're going to mark off 15 yards against Bruce Villetti and I would imagine maybe turn right back around and mark off 15 against Ingram, the ball. You know what? That still doesn't make much sense to me, but that guy gets a little exercise that way. Now he's going back the other way, and uh, that's just a new rule. Uh, nothing stays the same, does it, Dale Captain? And there he is after his exercise. That is the referee, Bob Knocker from San Antonio, Texas. And it'll be first and 10 once again at the 39-yard line of Ingram. Bruceville Eddy with their second offensive possession of the night. This time from the double wing formation. They do have a receiver split wide to the right side and Hunter in motion. And this time they give to Anthony Johnson. Through the middle, Johnson crosses the 35-yard line. He's finally brought down at about 34. Gain of about five on the play. It'll be second down to five. Kevin Williams making the stop. Or rather, had the wrong uh, program there. Kelly Henry, Gary Wilson making the stop for Ingram. Both teams are moving the ball pretty well, but uh, they're not going to put any points on the board as of yet. Once again, the double wing formation, and this time Kevin Williams in motion and the give to Hunter. Hunter's still on his feet, and Rusty Hunter has enough for the first down as he gets inside the 30-yard line to about the 27th, and that's plenty for a first down. Like Ingram has a young man down on the field right now. Rusty Hunter runs awfully hard for a young man that's listed as 165 pounds, and I would say that is just about what he weighs after looking at him. But while we have a little break in action, let's thank our six-shooter crew. Uh, well, these guys probably drove two and a half, three hours to get down here, and they've been set up for a, for a long time. Production assistant tonight, James French. On cameras tonight, on top of the press box, the one we're in are Pat Hargis and Rick Dutton. On the sideline, Kay Clinton. In the end zone, well, he's way up on top of the building in the south end zone, is Leo McHenry. And he's, whatever he's doing, he's probably eating something right now. On our reverse angle replay camera on the far side is Ken Smith. Audio tonight, we have Ronnie Mahan, instant replay Mike Eucher, 
technical support from Lou Stoger, director and producer Raymond Britton, our statistician Keith Henry, and our spotter Kelly Henry, and a little extra support tonight from two people we haven't seen in a long time. That is Nancy and Stacy Britton. That's the better half of the Raymond Britton family. There's a good look at the sidelines. You just saw the Ingram Tom Moore High School. There's a good look at the Bruce Valetti stands. And like I said, there's a, there's a good crowd on hand tonight. It's not full, but this is a big stadium, and this would, uh, this would fill most Class A stadiums. And also sharing the booth with us tonight, radio station KERV out of Kerrville. Coming this game between the Bruce Lady Eagles and the uh, Ingram Warriors. Let's get a look at the press boxes we're in. It's Jack C. Hayes' press box. The Rebels has a big Rebel flag. And uh, I don't know if we can wave. I don't know what you can see us or not. But we do have some togetherness tonight in the press box. There are about 24 people in here. And it's really built for about 12. But uh, you just have to suck it up. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's a colorful press box, too. I like it. This time on first and ten, in motion goes Williams, and this time quarterback McKee on the keeper around the left side. Doesn't find a lot of running room as he's brought down quickly by number 75, Leslie Van Hooser. Gain of maybe two yards on the play. It'll be second down and eight. I tell you what, it's just hard to believe that the way that both teams are moving the football, and this could very well be the last play uh, of the first quarter, and if that's the case, the Bruce Lady's going to have to go into the wind. Carroll Hogan split wide to the right side. Once again, the double wing formation. Hunter with the ball. Rusty Hunter finds, has some blocking ahead of him. And he is a quick young man. Up to the 10 yard line goes Rusty Hunter. Plenty for a first down. And with that play, our first quarter has come to an end here at Jack C. Hayes Stadium near Austin. In fact, on the campus of Hayes Consolidated High School, and our score at the end of one quarter of play, we have no score. Ingram, Warriors, nothing. Bruceville, Eddie, nothing. And we'll be back with the second quarter right after this. When it comes to quality Phillips products, contact BP Bostic Oil Company and Eddy. They offer bulk deliveries of Phillips 66 gasoline, including diesel, and all major brands of oil. Call BP Bostic Oil Distributor at 859-5820 in Eddy. Plus, you'll receive friendly service and quality Phillips gasoline at Hargrove Central Station of Eddy and Danny's Service Station of Lorena. Both offer competitive prices along with minor automotive repair. BP Bostic Oil Company and Eddy, backing the Bruceville Eddy Eagles all the way. The American Brahmin has the dominant role in the world's beef industry. It has a worldwide demand covering 46 states and 36 foreign countries. Crossbreeding is spreading Brahmin influence rapidly. Feeders are demanding at least quarter bloods and pay premiums for half bloods. The Brahmin Journal is the official publication for Brahmin and Brahmin Cross Cattle. It stretches from the home office in Eddy to all of the states and foreign countries. For information on the money-making cross for today, tomorrow, and all tomorrows to come, call us at the office. Moody Drug and Variety, established in 1881, the oldest pharmacy in Central Texas. That means you get years of experience combined with modern methods. Moody Drug and Variety has a large selection of toys, Hallmark cards, Russell Stover candies, vitamins, school supplies, sewing needs, gifts, and even an old-time soda fountain. Plus, all your pharmacy supplies and needs. Visit the friendly people at Moody Drug and Variety, 500 Avenue E in downtown Moody, supporting the Bruceville Eddie Eagles all the way. Everybody talks about high interest rates. Well, Ford Tractor's doing something about it. Ford Tractor now offers low annual percentage rate financing on its great line of Series 10 tractors. How low? Just eight and three quarter percent, that's how low. Yes, sir, eight and three quarter fixed rate financing for up to four full years. Offer ends November 30th and certain restrictions apply. Here's where to get the details. Get your details on money-saving 8 and 3 quarter Ford financing at Temple Ford Tractor, your Ford Tractor dealer in Bell County. Welcome back to this week's high school football game of the week between Bruceville, Eddie, and Ingram. No score as we begin the second quarter of play. However, Bruceville, Eddie is threatening. They have the ball first and goal at the nine-yard line. There's a good look at one of Bruce Lady Chili's. We'll try to recognize all their cheerleaders by name in just a little bit there. This time, Rick Goff split wide to the right side with Williams in motion and to give to the first back through Anthony Johnson. He's close to the goal line. Lee Johnson brought down at about the two yard line will be second and goal from that point. Alvin Leonard making the stop for Ingram. 
but more importantly, and uh, of course, the Bruce Lady scores, that is the most important thing, but right now they have picked up the only penetration of the football game. Darrell Hogan split wide to the right side from the double wing formation. Hunter in motion, quarterback sneak, Robert McKee, touchdown, Bruceville Eddy. He went there, I thought for a minute, I was on the line of scrimmage, what a great shot that time by our sideline camera, and by Kate Fenton, and what a great, great shot. There's Paul Tilly coming off, giving a high five to somebody, and the Eagles on the scoreboard first. Kate Fenton probably knew that play was coming. I understand he follows Bruceville Eddy very close. He knew what to focus in on that time as number 33, Kevin Williams, will attempt to make it seventh, and I think Hunter will do the holding. And it's a bad snap, and Ingram recovers the snap. The extra point failed, and now with 11 minutes and 24 seconds remaining in the second quarter of play, our score, Bruceville at 86, Ingram nothing. We'll be back with more right after this. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete Contractors has been serving the Central Texas area with the finest concrete work for over 25 years. Family owned and operated, Cashin and Wilcox deals in all phases of the concrete business. From patios to foundations, Cashin and Wilcox has the expertise to give you a finished product that is long lasting and of the highest quality. For quality concrete work, call 773-0119. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete. 1717 West Avenue C in Temple. You can't get anything done these days without an appointment. He says he's very sorry, but he can't make it till next week. The dentist says he'll be more than happy to fit you in on the 11th. Thursday? He says he'll be right over next Thursday. But if the transmission on your foreign car breaks down, there's no appointment necessary at AMCO. We'll get to it right away and get it back to you fast. Call AMCO. He says bring it right over. AMCO. Why go anywhere else? Kenneth and Joanne Ashley invite you to stop by Ashley's Texaco and Eddie for fast, friendly, and convenient service. You'll find low prices on self-service gas and oil. Supplies to make your next picnic one to remember. Cold drinks, groceries, ice cream, gas and oil, all the reasons to make your next stop Ashley's Texaco. Stop by, shop, fill up, and visit with the friendly folks at Ashley Texaco on I-35 at the Eddie exit. Good luck, Bruce Valetti. Go Eagle. Now's the time to make sure your heater is in tip-top shape for the cold months to come. And here in the Central Texas area, you can count on Centex Heat and Air in 80. You'll receive the most professional service and sales on your heating and cooling units. Plus, Centex Heat and Air does general sheet metal. It doesn't matter if you need work done at your home or business. Centex Heat and Air is ready to serve you. Give them a call at 859-5970 or 859-5377. That's Centex Heat and Air in Eddy. Wishing the best of luck to the Bruceville Eddy Eagles in the playoffs. Welcome back, where Bruce Valetti has just scored. They lead it six to nothing. Over Ingram, we have the scoring drive from Butch Henry. That was a 39-yard six-play drive that's given to me by Kevin Henry. Topped off by the one-yard quarterback sneak touchdown run by McKee. PAP fail. Bruce Valetti Eagles are on top, six to zip. That's why we got a moment for the kickoff. Let's just recognize the cheerleaders from Bruce Valetti. Jeannie Kohler, Gina Keel. Carla Keel, they must be sisters, Christy DeLeon, Michelle Reed, and the young lady did our free game. It was so sweet to do so, Kim Seth. Number 33, Kevin Williams set the kickoff deep to number 22, Alvin Leonard for Ingram, along with Bobby Stevenson, number 45. And this is going to be a short kick, looked like an attempted onside kick. Goes out of bounds at about the 49-yard line, and I would suppose Ingram may just say, hey, guys, let's take it right there. Good field position. I'd be willing to bet my bottom dollar if they take it out there. But uh, I'm anxious to see now what the quarterback bringer, Brian Thompson, can do with, with the wind that's back. He's throwing the ball 40 yards into the wind, so he can uh, probably really, really get a chance to air it out right here. And uh, they will take the ball right there. And uh, since I'm mentioning cheerleaders, how about the Ingram cheerleaders? Lisa Plant, Zoe Allen, Laura Rowan, Mandy Van Hooser, Stephanie John, and Christy Moore. And I tell you what, without cheerleaders, they will not have football as far as I'm concerned. They had so much to it, and their spirit is always there if they're 40 points ahead or 40 points behind. Ingram with the first and 10 at their own 49-yard line.
Bobby Stevenson split wide to the left side with the I formation in the backfield. The pitch out to Alvin Leonard. Leonard looking for some running room. He does pick up a block. And Leonard with some fine second effort. And the flag is on the play. Leonard gets up close to the 40-yard line. They'll mark it about the 41. But they're probably probably the play will be called back. It appears to be a I believe that's holding. He used the hands, and I think I saw who it was. Here you see uh, Leonard coming out, and I'll tell you one reason Leonard picks up such fine, fine yardage behind the block in the fullback, Gary West, who incidentally that time was the guilty young man as far as the illegal use of the hands. Right now, Bruce Bill Eddy's captain, Tim Mayer discussing, rather Meyer discussing with the referee. They will mark off the penalty, five yards against Ingram, and that will set up a first and 13. Ball will be spotted now at the 47 and a half yard line. This is the head coach, Tucker Rackley's third year at Ingram High School. Clifford, or rather, Trey Fisher, put wide to the right side, and on first and 12, the handoff to Gary Wilson. Wilson is met immediately at the line of scrimmage by John Gilbert. Second down and still needing about 12. The assistant coaches for the Ingram Warriors, and I hope I can pronounce some of these names. Charles Case, Tom Marina, Bill Shockey, and Bruce Faust. If you want to correct me on any of them, feel free to do so. Randy John split wide to the left side. The wing back in motion is Bobby Stevenson, and this time they give to Alvin Leonard. Leonard up across midfield to about the 48-yard line of Bruceville Eddy, brought down by Rusty Hunter making the stop. It'll be third down and eight. Excuse me, the assistant coaches for Bruce Lady Eagles under head coach Bill Hunter or Robert Duty, which we mentioned earlier. Jim Miller, a young man that I've known for a long time. He's a Waco native, an uh, outstanding baseball player back in his younger days. Played baseball at Southwestern University and Tim Bashman. Trey Fisher to the right side with the eye formation in the backfield and on third and eight. This time to fake and Brian Thompson wants to throw, but he's going to be brought down a sack by Anthony Johnson. Johnson. Dropping Thompson for about a 10-yard loss, maybe more. It's going to be fourth down and definitely a punting situation for Ingram. They, and mind, uh, remind you, they have about a 20-yard, 20-mile-per-hour 20 win behind their back. This time, Thompson bootlegs. He was looking for number 12, Randy John. And there comes a fine tackle that time for Bruce Lady, number 12, which is uh, Anthony Johnson. I, he was used to be number 74. They changed him to 12 now. But... Uh, the young man, Pete Teff, has got off a 30-yard front while ago for Ingram against the wind. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do with the wind. Telford has the snap, gets his put, uh, foot into it, and it's a long one. Comes down, and Rusty Hunter decides to pick it up at his own 15-yard line, and Hunter runs it up to about the 27-yard line. And that's where Bruce Valetti will have the ball, first and 10. We'll be back with more action in just a moment. Eddie Co-op, serving the area for 35 years. Stop by and check out our large selection of feed and tack, vaccine, seed, grain, farm supplies, and more. For horse supplies, Eddie Co-op is your one-stop place to shop with reasonable prices, convenient location, and friendly service. For your shopping convenience, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. and Saturdays, 8 till noon. Eddie Co-op has your farm supplies, feed, grain, tack, and more. So step by today. Eddie Co-op, Highway 107 and I-35 and downtown Eddie. Les Taylor and his friendly staff wish the Bruce Valetti Eagles the best of luck in the playoffs. Hargrove Central Station Eddie is now under new ownership and ready to serve you better than ever before. Hargrove Central Station carries regular and unleaded gasoline. Plus, they'll fix flats and do minor mechanical work. You'll be pleasantly surprised by their friendly service. Hargrove Central Station even does windows. New owners Raymond and Lucy Hargrove are eager to serve you. So go by and see Tim Hargrove and Terry Rogers at Hargrove Central Station, soon to be a full service station. Open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on FM 107 in downtown Eddie. Hargrove Central Station wishing good luck to the Bruce Valetti Eagles during the playoffs. leading Ingram six to nothing. We're back at Jack C. Hayes Stadium, Dale Campy, along with Rich Henry. First and 10 for Bruce Bill Eddy, ball spotted at their own 28-yard line. 
Dale, that was a 44-yard punt off the toe of Pete Kelsey. Williams in motion, and the give is to Anthony Johnson through the middle. Johnson across the 30 to about the 32-yard line, a gain of about three yards before he is brought down by the Warriors' leading tackler, Leslie Van Hooser. I tell you, the Eagles can come at you in so many ways. And there's times when they line up in that double wing and then send one of the wing backs in motion to one side that they're, they're unbalanced to that side, and if you don't try to compensate, somehow they're going to have you outnumbered, I'm sure that's what they're trying to do. Johnson picking up four yards on first down. It's second down and six. This time, Rusty Hunter with the ball, and he's in open running room now. He's at the 40, and finally brought down at about the 33-yard line. And on the stop, Randy John. But Hunter was explosive that time, and I look back, and I see a yellow flag on the field. The way looks like the, uh, I believe the ball, and the, Penalty, they're waving the flag off. Inadvertent flag on the play. You see Rusty Hunter, that was on the inside counter. And uh, he's got good speed. Now, he must be left-handed because he must be walking every time. He always carries the ball in his left hand. And uh, that was an inadvertent flag at the time. And the way this wind's blowing, it might have just picked that thing out of his pocket and, and blew it on the ground. But there was no flag on the play. It's a good game by the Eagles. And the ball now spotted at the 34-yard line of Ingram. Bruce Belletti leading this ball game six to nothing and now appear to be threatening four more points in the game. Hunter in motion and the give is to Anthony Johnson and the big fullback. Gets inside the 30, brought down at about the 25-yard line after a gain of about seven or eight yards on the play. It'll be second down and two. I think Anthony Johnson is a 170-pound junior in the he runs the ball very well, and there was a gaping hole that time for him to run through. It looked like there might have been a little trapping going on in there, but a uh, good hole open that time for the center from No and uh, Darren Griffin and Tim Moore. This time split backs to the backfield. First time we saw that alignment tonight. Rusty Hunter gets the call. Hunter up close to the 20-yard line. He'll have plenty for a first down. Brought down by the Warriors' Gary Wilson. But it is a first and 10 now for Bruceville Eddy. I tell you right now, Dale, Rusty Hunter has picked up 74 yards on only five carries. So uh, that's about, uh, boy, I'm going to have to work on this. That's about 15 yards average per carry. That's way above his feet now. Darrell Hogan split wide to the left side and once again split backs in the backfield. Anthony Johnson with the ball. And Johnson is up close to the 15-yard line. With a gain of about four, it'll be second down and six. Jason Poppy makes the stop. Well, I can see now why Coach Hunter doesn't, doesn't throw the ball much because they really don't need to. They run a very, very sophisticated type offense. I mean, they come out, well, we've seen them in about five or six different sets already, and we're still in the first half. Split backs in the backfield. Rick Goff split wide to the right side. Nothing fancy this time. Just the handoff through the middle to Rusty Hunter. And Hunter drives his way ahead to about the eight-yard line before he is finally brought down by Leslie Van Hooser. That's good enough for a first down, and it's going to be first and goal for Bruceville. Rather, Bruceville Eddy. Yeah, you better put those things in there. Eight-yard line. Might get some Eddy residents <laughs> mad at me. I get some of our crew man in it as far as that goes. <laughs> First and goal from the eight, this time the double wing formation. I look for the call to go to Anthony Johnson, and it does. Through the middle and a fumble on the play, but Robert McKee alertly recovers the mishelt handoff. That call was intended for Anthony Johnson. It'll be second down, no gain on the play, still second and goal from the eight. Well, I'm not sure that that was not some type of audible in there. Uh, but he's just very fast and he did hang on to the football. But it was laying on the ground. You sure don't want to turn that thing over that close to the goal line. That is their second penetration to them. And this time they come up in the split formation in the backfield and give it to Anthony Johnson. And Johnson barrels his way up near the goal line. I believe he's going to be about a yard short. It'll be third and goal from about the one. And Steve Olin makes the stop. I think we'll look for another quarterback sneak. He proved very successful earlier, and uh, we'll probably have a good sideline camera shot there. If KP did anything, I cannot tell these down there or not, because we're kind of blocked off from that end. 
Ball spotted at about the three-yard line, so it may not be the quarterback sneak this time. In motion, Rusty Hunter, but it is the quarterback sneak, and Robert McKee is in the end zone for Bruceville Eddie's second touchdown of the night. They lead the ball game 12 to nothing with a point after to come. I knew Jake Van Denning and I were thinking on the same film, and there's a look at the happy Bruceville Eddie crowd. And I would imagine now that the Eagles will uh, let it go for two points since they did miss the first extra point and then so on. Uh, I would look for him probably try to get the ball to Rusty Hunter somewhere on this two play, two point conversion. This time they have receivers split wide to the right and left side with split backs in the backfield. This time the quick over the middle pass is going to be intercepted. And it was number 12, Randy John intercepting that two point conversion attempt and with five minutes, six seconds remaining in our second quarter, our score now. Bruce Valetti, 12, Ingram, nothing. We'll be back with more right after this. Escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Stop by the First National Bank of Moody, a country bank large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. First National Bank of Moody, established in 1892 with beautiful marble walls and bronze bars, a step into the days of the Old West. Our friendly staff has the experience and know-how to provide all your banking needs. Buy a new home or car, see Moody Bank. Extra cash, a savings account, or an IRA, see Moody Bank. The First National Bank of Moody, on the corner of 7th and Avenue D, downtown Moody, member FDIC, supporting the Bruceville Eddy Eagles all the way. Last year, Americans ate a staggering 4 billion pounds of burgers. Hold the pickle. Please. With Bone John Silver. Three-piece fish dinner. Put a smile on your taste. One, two, three big fish fillets. Cooked up crisp the Long John's way. Two hush puppies, small and fried. holiday season, add a little extra beauty to your home with fresh flowers from Flowers and Things. For a truly exquisite Thanksgiving table, try the nice touch of a floral arrangement from Flowers and Things. And Christmas time is a perfect time to let loved ones know how special they are. Treat them with flowers or a gift of beauty from Flowers and Things. Just give them a call in Moody and they'll do the fixing. That's Flowers and Things at 103 South Main in Moody. Call 853-2151. Coming home after a hard day's work is a wonderful feeling, and it's so nice to come home to a home built by Jim Bob Builders of Eddy. Jim Bob Builders will custom build a beautiful home of your dreams. They put up national homes, and you can count on Jim Bob Builders to only use the best building materials. Plus, a Jim Bob home is reasonably priced. The beauty and design of a home by Jim Bob Builders is a home to be proud of, one you will enjoy for a long, long time. Give Robert Clemens a call at 772-4515 in Eddy. Jim Bob Builders backing the Bruceville Eddie Eagles. Moody Drug and Variety, established in 1881, the oldest pharmacy in Central Texas. That means you get years of experience combined with modern methods. Moody Drug and Variety has a large selection of toys, Hallmark cards, Russell Stover candies, vitamins, school supplies, sewing needs, gifts, and even an old-time soda fountain. Plus all your pharmacy supplies and needs. Visit the friendly people at Moody Drug and Variety, 500 Avenue E in downtown Moody, supporting the Bruceville Eddie Eagles all the way. Welcome back to Jackson Hayes Stadium, where the Bruceville Eddie Eagles have strengthened their lead now. They lead it 12 to nothing over the Ingram Warriors, with five minutes, six seconds remaining in the second quarter of play. Bill, that was a 73-yard eight play for the Eagles tonight. They've had to go 73 yards for the touchdown and 39 for the first. There's a look at uh, one of Bruce Lady cheerleaders. And I tell you right now, they are pumped up and they are real happy because their team is leading on the scoreboard 12 to nothing. And that entire 73-yard drive was on the ground. Bruce Belletti very effectively moving the ball. I tell you what, they did it uh, with the exception of the next point. Everything was kept on the ground and uh, I'm, I'm really impressed. Here's that little pooch kick again. And it's going to come down, and it's going to be recovered, I believe, by number 20, Trey, or rather Clifford Caldwell. We'll wait and see when they unpile it, but it looked as though he had his hands on it. Nope, it's going to go over to the Ingram Warriors, as I believe number 75 came up with the ball, Leslie Van Hooser. He does everything, including covering onside kick attempts. Well, I really thought Bruce Lady had the ball because it looked like Leslie Van Hooser was going to catch it. 
and it went through his arms. Bruce said he got it, but that was a that was a big break that time for Ingram. Ball will be spotted at their own 42-yard line, first and ten. Ingram trailing 12 to nothing. The Bruceville Eddie Eagles out in front. Two tight ends now with the eye formation in the backfield. The tailback, Alvin Leonard. Leonard's going to gain a couple of yards, maybe three. It'll be second down and seven. Bruceville Eddie's Darren Griffin making the stop. Darren Griffin is up in the press box. He's up in spot for the PA announcer. So with, uh, of course, there's still plenty of time left in the uh, first half. Four minutes, 39 seconds of running, but uh, I, I really look for Ingram to come out and throw the football. Dale, they've had good success throwing against the wind, so they should be able to throw it with the wind if they have enough time. Once again, they come out with two tight ends. And the power eye formation, Alvin Leonard once again gets the call, and Leonard's up near midfield. He's going to be short of the first down by a couple of yards. Brought down on the play by Rusty Hunter. Alvin Leonard, every time he touches the football, then it looks like he could go the distance. He is, uh, he's quick. He jitterbugs there are similar to a water bug. And I would be willing to bet before the night though that he would break the long run because uh, he got excellent moves and quickness. Bobby Stevenson split wide to the right side. And once again in the backfield, the eye formation, back to pass. Quarterback Thompson, Brian Thompson's pass is complete to Alvin Leonard. Leonard, the tailback, coming out of the backfield, catches the ball at about the 35-yard line of Bruceville Eddy. First and 10 for Ingram with three minutes and 43 seconds remaining in our first half. Very fortunately for the Bruceville Eddy Eagles, Alvin Leonard fell down when he caught the football. It would have been six points. He just kind of swung out of the backfield and uh, Brian Thompson laid it right on the line. That was a good play. We'll see that play again. This time, Stevenson, the flanker back, split to the left side. And the pitch to Alvin Leonard in the backfield. Leonard looking for some running room. Gets a few blocks, but he gains only about two, maybe two and a half yards on the play before he is brought down by Tim Moore. Good blocking that time by the guards. Uh, Vasily, I'm not Vasily Diaz. He's the center, Jack Cunningham, and also the fullback number 33, Gary Wilson. He, uh, He's in on a lot of blocks tonight, especially with the pitch sweeps, and Leonard just kind of follows him through the holes. The clock's running with two minutes and 50 seconds and counting. Second down and seven this time. Stevenson's foot way wide to the right side, and back to pass goes Thompson. Thompson had some pressure on him, and he throws the ball away. It's incomplete. That pass was intended for Trey Whitten, but it falls way short, and it's going to be third down and seven. I would imagine now with third and long like this, they will come back with a pass play. Dale in there. I think a pretty good play would be to throw that swing pass out of the backfield to Leonard that they threw play before last to the left. I think they may come back do that same play to the right. So let's take a look and see. Stevenson went wide to the right side. Arch Graham to the left. Thompson back to pass has plenty of time this time but it's going to be intercepted by Rusty Hunter. Hunter has an open field ahead of him. There's a couple of players with an angle. Rusty's at the 30. He's cuts back upfield. He's at the 20 and he's brought down at the 15 yard line. And we will be back when Bruce Valetti has the ball right after this. What a Wilson's Catalog Showroom is celebrating 35 years of great values like this self-cleaning GE Light and Easy Steam Spray or Dry Iron sale priced at $27.99. This continuous cleaning cool to the touch GE Toaster Oven with warming tray is sale priced at $61.97. And the GE Space Maker Can Opener is only $19.99. The 35th anniversary sale at Wilson's Jewelers Catalog Showroom. What America wants most, cost less than Wilson. The American Brahmin has the dominant role in the world's beef industry. It has a worldwide demand covering 46 states and 36 foreign countries. Crossbreeding is spreading Brahmin influence rapidly. Feeders are demanding at least quarter bloods and pay premiums for half bloods. The Brahmin Journal is the official publication for Brahmin and Brahmin cross cattle. It stretches from the home office in Eddy to all of the states and foreign countries. For information on the money-making cross for today, tomorrow, and all tomorrows to come, call us at the office. 
Mike Simons Ministries presents World of Faith International. World of Faith is a world ministry and faith teaching center with 24-hour prayer and counseling. Services on Sunday at 4.30 p.m. and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. And be sure to watch 60 minutes of singing and faith teaching every Sunday night at 12.30 with Pastor Mike Simons on KCEN-TV Channel 6. If ye have faith, nothing shall be impossible unto you. World of Faith International, 3121 Spate, Waco, or call our 24-hour prayer line at 755-0191. If you have some type of property to sell, you owe it to yourself to call Joe Frerick of Joe Frerick Auction Service. They handle farm and ranch dispersal and can help you sell tractors or any other type of farm equipment. Or, if you have a business going out of business, Joe Frerick Auction Service is ready to help. They also handle antique and estate sales. Think about it. What would you rather have? One person making an offer on your property or many bidding to get it? Call Joe Frerick Auction Service, 817-853-2738 in Eddy, Texas. If you're looking for a new, exciting hairstyle to give your total look a boost, trust the professionals at the Uppercut. Arlen, Margie, Jim, and Marcella are eager to give you an individual look. They offer creative hairstyling from shampoos, cuts, and blow dries to the most professional perms and color. The Uppercut, conveniently located in the Central Texas Tower at 5400 Bosque in Waco, across from Lake Air Mall and next to the new HEB. For the look you want, see the people who have innovative, exciting ideas. The people at the Uppercut, backing the Bruce Valetti Eagles during the playoffs. Bill, okay, we have to take one more look at the interception. The play was designed to go to Avalon and out of the backfield. There's Rusty Hunter, and he makes a good run here. He, he nearly goes in for the score. He runs a long way. You can see him. He fixed the cut back right now. He makes another good move, and he's finally brought down from behind. But that gives the Eagles, and here they come back to live action. And Rusty Hunter gets the call on first down, and Hunter gets about two yards on the play. Remind you that the replay you just saw was from our reverse angle camera. James Morris making the stop on Hunter for Ingram. As Hunter gains about four yards on the play, it'll be second down and six, and they're going to spot the ball at about the 11-yard line. Yeah, very, very good opportunity now for the Eagles to try to get in four some more points before the half. It looks like they are calling the timeout because they will make sure whatever play they run will be the right play. I see the Bruce Lady Band lining up, and since they are the designated pitchers tonight, they will perform first. So be sure and stay tuned for the halftime performances of both bands. Bruce for Lady Band under the direction of Charles Williams and the Ingram Band under the direction of Wes Evans. There's a good look at the Bruce Lady players over gathered around their coaching staff because uh, they know a 12 point lead is not safe in these playoffs. They would like to try to pick up uh, another six points. Meanwhile, the Bruce Valetti offense is discussing with Coach Bill Hunter what they want to run. I believe we've got our microphone probably cleared up. Had a little pause there. I don't know whether we had a short in the wires or what, but the Eagles second down about five. Ball spotted at the 11-yard line. It'll be second down and seven time that double wing formation for Bruce Valetti. In motion goes Rusty Hunter and the handoff will go to Johnson. Anthony Johnson gets inside the 10 yard line. He's close to a first down. I believe he'll be about a yard, a yard and a half short. Brought down by Gary Wilson. I don't know what else I can say about this sideline shot. Jake in there, but he had that play uh, from the time his quarterback took the snap until he handed off to to Johnson, and it was just a great, great shot in there. I tell you, shots like that put you really close to the action, don't they, Dale? Certainly do. A great job by all our cameramen tonight, as Darrell Hogan splits wide to the left side, and this time Rusty Hunter with the call through the middle. Hunter close to that first down now, as he is at about the five-yard line. Pete Telford making the stop for Ingram, and it is a first down. First and goal for Bruceville Eddy. Ball will be spotted at just at the five-yard line. Well, Leo McHenry's only had one chance tonight to really use that end zone camera, and that was on the extra point, and it's a bad snap, so maybe he'll get another opportunity if they score here. Clock running, one minute left to play in the first half. Bruceville Eddy leading it 12 to nothing. Anthony Johnson is gonna make it 18 to nothing. Johnson dances in the end zone. He had a gaping hole to go through. 
and he scores. Well, that's a block for the good of the line this time. And Anthony Johnson uh, went through nearly untouched. If he was touched, he was badly touched. So I would imagine they'll come back and try to go for two points again, Dale, because they have not uh, converted yet tonight, and they need to. And they might as well, as Daryl Hogan slips wide to the right side, the double wing formation in the backfield. Hunter in motion. Hunter with the ball. Hunter's going to be short of the goal line. And once again, the extra point conversion fails. 56 seconds remaining in our first half of play. Bruce Saletti leads it 15, or rather 18 to nothing over Ingram. We'll be back with more in just a moment. The Bruce Folletti PTA would like to thank the community for all their support. And they wish the Bruce Folletti Eagles good luck during the playoffs. The Bruce Folletti PTA proudly supports the Eagles each year with activities like a Halloween carnival and cookie sales, and also sponsors various other fundraising events for the school. The Bruce Folletti PTA supports the Eagles and urges the Bruce Folletti community to join the PTA for a better union of children, teachers, and parents. Again, thanks to the community for all your support. From the Bruce Valetti PTA. Kenneth and Joanne Ashley invite you to stop by Ashley's Texaco and Eddie for fast, friendly, and convenient service. You'll find low prices on self-service gas and oil. Supplies to make your next picnic one to remember. Cold drinks, groceries, ice cream, gas, and oil. All the reasons to make your next stop Ashley's Texaco. Stop by, shop, fill up, and visit with the friendly folks at Ashley Texaco on I-35 at the Eddie exit. Good luck, Bruce Valetti. Go Eagles. Let's visit Trails End Ranch and Campground at Bruceville, Texas. What is your favorite activity at Trails End? Find horses. Swimming with my friends. Picnic and cookouts. I like walking in the woods. They're beautiful. We have family get-togethers at the clubhouse. I love wading in the creek. Oh, just give me a nap under a shade tree. It's fun for all ages at Trails End, Bruceville, Texas. It's one mile east of Interstate 35, halfway between Temple and Waco. On Long's Peak in Colorado lie the remains of a tree more than 400 years old. It had survived being struck by lightning 14 times, yet finally was destroyed by an infestation of tiny insects. I'm Gary Furr, pastor of the Bruceville Baptist Church. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. There is true inner strength found. Congratulations, Bruce Valetti, and worship with us this Sunday morning. Here's another look on the reverse angle of the Bruce Valetti Eagles. You can see right there, there's the big Johnson kid, and he, did, he was touched. Number 45 touched him, but that's all he did. He did not bring him down for the touchdown. That was a four play, 17-yard drive for the Bruce Valetti Eagles. So tonight, the Eagles and the Jones have to drive 17 yards, 73 yards and 39 yards for touchdown. And they're in good shape right now as they hold an 18-point lead with 56 le seconds left in the half. Rather interesting about Anthony Johnson. Ordinarily, he plays the tackle position on, a, on the offensive line. But being that uh, Tim Mayer, Meyer is not able to start offensively tonight, it's Anthony Johnson in the backfield, and he has scored. This time, once again, a short kick, and it's going to come down to number 33, Gary Wilson. Wilson's going to finally be wrestled down at his own 40-yard line. Ingram will take over, first and 10, and they'll have 50 seconds to work with. I see head coach Tucker Rackley talking to his quarterback, Brian Thompson. In a situation like this, you would sure like to get some points on the board, so... Uh, I imagine they'll try to go long on two or three passes and, and see what happens, because you sure don't want to be down 18 to zip, and if they could score, they could get a little bit of momentum going into the halftime. And as you mentioned a moment ago, Brian Thompson with a good arm, throwing the ball against this 20 mile an hour breeze, about 35 yards in the air, and now he has that breeze behind him. And we just had some breeze in the booth as the door was open, and papers flew all over the place, and it is breezy out here tonight. Thompson with the ball, he's back to pass airs it out and he way overthrows his intended receiver Arch Graham overthrows him by about 10 yards it'll be second down at 10 and that stops the clock with 44 seconds it's gonna be awful hard for him to hit the long pass right now as Bruce Valetti is not in exactly a prevent defense but their secondary people are playing pretty deep and so uh, 
I think they're going to try to get the ball in the hands of Alvin Leonard, either on some type of running play or a swing pass, and, and let him do his thing. Second down. This time, number 45, Bobby Stevenson split wide to the right side. Thompson back to pass. It looks like a screen pass setting up, and it is complete to Alvin Leonard. Leonard with some blocking in front of him, but a fine tackle that time by Tim Meyer. Meyer fought off about two blockers just to get it, Leonard. And it's going to be timeout now for Ingram as they have the ball first and 10 at Bruceville Eddie's 45-yard line. I think they're going to try to get the ball in the hands of, uh, of Alvin Leonard. And there's a screen pass. You see a good block coming up right there. Lower your screen right there by number 75. That's the best of Van Hooser. And if Leonard had to tripped up a little bit, then he might have had some points on the board. Ball spotted right at the 45-yard line of Bruceville Eddie. First and 10, 34 ticks remain on the clock until halftime. That's a good look at the Bruce Lady Band, uh, Hep Squad, Drill Team, as they're getting ready for their halftime performances, which we will have in its entirety at the end of the first half. Randy John split to the left side, Stevenson to the right. Thompson back to pass, has plenty of time, and this pass is going to be complete. On the near side to Randy John, and John quickly steps out of bounds to stop the clock with 29 seconds remaining. Ball spotted at the 31-yard line. It's another first down, and uh, certainly they want to score the six or seven points, Butch Henry, but uh, they also have the win, and a field goal is a possibility if time becomes a factor. Right, and they have not attempted a field goal so far this year. Alvin Leonard is also their field goal kicker, but they've just not attempted one. I guess they never have needed to. That might rule out the field goal possibility, Butch. Stevenson to the right side, and this time the same play back again. Thompson's pass, this time intended for Randy John. Incomplete, stopping the clock with 25 seconds remaining. Second down. You can see the uh, defensive second there, Bruce Lady. Uh, goodness gracious, the Hunter youngster, the safety man, is playing about 15 to 20 yards from the ball, so... I really look for him to come back now and get the ball to Alvin Leonard again, maybe on the screen pass to the right or where he comes out of the backfield. A little look-in pass may be a possibility at, uh, as far off as the defenders are playing, the receivers. Thompson back to pass, pumps once and lets it go. And this is going to be overthrown and out of the end zone intended for Randy John. The fine coverage on the play by Kevin Williams. Williams over there along with Rusty Hunter and Tim Meyer and also over there Robert McKee. So they were all in on the play, incomplete. Third down and 10, 19 there's, seconds remaining. There's a boost from the youngster. He said, let me tell you how I do. First you climb up to the right, you go to the left, or whatever. But uh, uh, a few of the fans from Ingram hollering that time, they thought they might have been passing the fans. I personally thought it was good defensive coverage and evidently so did the officials. So, We've got two downs and 19 seconds to get some points on the board. Stevenson to the right side, I formation in the backfield. Thompson pumps once, lets this one go, and it's going to be incomplete. That time intended for Bobby Stevenson. He was well covered on the play by Rusty Hunter. Also along on the play, Paul Tilly and Robert McKee. Incomplete, it's fourth down and 10. And now 13 seconds remaining until halftime. That's twice they've run the same play to different sides of the field where the uh, receiver goes down and out, a little fake pump, and he, and he goes up long. And uh, once again, there's a look at the Bruce Lady, the band, drill team, uh, drum major, drum major, Reds, all getting ready for their halftime performance. And they're spruced out some white, white slacks and uh, gold tops, white hats that look real nice, Bill. You've got a drum set down there. Yes, sir. We're jamming at halftime. Don't get down, man. Stevenson to the right side. Flag on the play. Delay of game. That'll put him back five more yards. And instead of having the ball fourth down and 10 at the 31, it'll be fourth and 15 at the 36. Oh, not you look at Rusty Hunter? He looks like he's next to receive a punt because he is, he's back around the 10 or 12 yard line. So he's at least 20 to 25 yards from the line of scrimmage. So if they're going to throw one of those Hail Mary passes, it's going to have to get by Rusty Hunter. Stevenson split wide to the right side. And we're 
once again probably see Brian Thompson air it out. Thompson's going to be sacked, though, as coming in strongly from his linebacker position, Tim Moore. Tim Moore from his defensive end position gets the sack on Brian Thompson. Bruce Belletti will take over first to 10 with eight seconds left on the clock. And going against the wind, you probably would think that they would be content to run the clock out and go talk about it, leading 18 to nothing. He probably would think that, but uh, who knows, they might try to break Rusty Hunter on a little sweep and uh, see if he can go the distance. No, I believe they're gonna just gonna fall on it and let the clock run out like you said, Dale, Cappy. Quarterback Robert McKee falls on the ball. Clock will run out. And we are at the end of the first half of play. Our score at the end of the first half, Bruce Villetti 18, Ingram nothing. Stay tuned for halftime performances by both fans. Nivens Heating and Refrigeration. Commercial refrigeration and heating for supermarkets and commercial businesses. Air conditioning installation and repair. 24-hour service and guaranteed quality they stand behind. The specialist in commercial refrigeration and heating for Central Texas. Call 859-5525 or 859-5040 for fast, friendly services. 24 hours a day. Nivens Heating and Refrigeration, Highway 107, 80, Texas. Stop by or give them a call. Nivens wants to wish the Bruce Valletti Eagles the best of luck in the playoffs. Hargrove Central Station Eddie is now under new ownership and ready to serve you better than ever before. Hargrove Central Station carries regular and unleaded gasoline, plus they'll fix flats and do minor mechanical work. You'll be pleasantly surprised by their friendly service. Hargrove Central Station even does windows. New owners Raymond and Lucy Hargrove are eager to serve you, so go by and see Tim Hargrove and Terry Rogers at Hargrove Central Station, soon to be a full service station. Open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on FM 107 in downtown Eddie. Hargrove Central Station wishing good luck to the Bruce Valletti Eagles during the playoffs. Escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Stop by the First National Bank of Moody, a country bank large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. First National Bank of Moody, established in 1892 with beautiful marble walls and bronze bars, a step into the days of the Old West. Our friendly staff has the experience and know-how to provide all your banking needs. Buy a new home or car, see Moody Bank. Extra cash, a savings account, or an IRA, see Moody Bank. The First National Bank of Moody, on the corner of 7th and Avenue D, downtown Moody, member FDIC, supporting the Bruceville Eddy Eagles all the way. Stop by Miracle Food Store in Eddie or Minimax and Moody and take advantage of the big savings. TV brand U.S. grade Tom Turkey, 20 pounds and up, only 49 cents a pound. Delicious Blue Bell ice cream, a low 2.59 a half gallon. Two liter bottles of Dr. Pepper, 87 cents each. Fresh celery, 38 cents a stock. Every day is a special day of savings at the Minimax and Moody or Miracle's Food Store in Eddie. While shopping, check out the fresh, crisp produce section or the always top quality selection of meat from the meat market. Miracle's Food Store in Eddie and Minimax and Moody, wishing the Eagles the best of luck.
In today's busy world, it's nice to know that there is a daycare center nearby that offers more than the others do. Little Rascal Daycare Center in Bruceville offers tender, loving care to your little ones. You'll know that your children are receiving the very best because Little Rascal Daycare is state licensed. Drop-ins are always welcome at Little Rascal, and they offer convenient hours, too. 6.45 to 5.45, Monday through Friday, for kids aged 6 weeks to 13 years. Little Rascal Daycare. Call 859-5970 in Bruceville.
Coming home after a hard day's work is a wonderful feeling, and it's so nice to come home to a home built by Jim Bob Builders of Eddie. Jim Bob Builders will custom build a beautiful home of your dreams. They put up national homes, and you can count on Jim Bob Builders to only use the best building materials. Plus, a Jim Bob home is reasonably priced. The beauty and design of a home by Jim Bob Builders is a home to be proud of, one you will enjoy for a long, long time. Give Robert Clemens a call at 772-4515 in Eddie. Jim Bob Builders backing the Bruceville Eddie Eagles. The American Brahmin has the dominant role in the world's beef industry. It has a worldwide demand covering 46 states and 36 foreign countries. Crossbreeding is spreading Brahmin influence rapidly. Feeders are demanding at least quarter bloods and pay premiums for half bloods. The Brahmin Journal is the official publication for Brahmin and Brahmin Cross Cattle. It stretches from the home office in Eddie to all of the states and foreign countries. For information on the money-making cross for today, tomorrow, and all tomorrows to come, call us at the office. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete Contractors has been serving the Central Texas area with the finest concrete work for over 25 years. Family owned and operated, Cashin and Wilcox deals in all phases of the concrete business. From patios to foundations, Cashin and Wilcox has the expertise to give you a finished product that is long-lasting and of the highest quality. For quality concrete work, call 773-0119. Cashin and Wilcox Concrete, 1717 West Avenue C in Temple. If you have some type of property to sell, you owe it to yourself to call Joe Frerich of Joe Frerich Auction Service. They handle farm and ranch dispersal and can help you sell tractors or any other type of farm equipment. Or, if you have a business going out of business, Joe Frerich Auction Service is ready to help. They also handle antique and estate sales. Think about it. What would you rather have? One person making an offer on your property or many bidding to get it? Call Joe Frerich Auction Service, 817-853-2738 in Eddy, Texas. Eddy Co-op, serving the area for 35 years. Stop by and check out our large selection of feed and tack, vaccine, seed, grain, farm supplies, and more. For horse supplies, Eddy Co-op is your one-stop place to shop with reasonable prices, convenient location, and friendly service. For your shopping convenience, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. and Saturdays, 8 till noon. Eddy Co-op has your farm supplies, feed, grain, tack, and more. So step by today. Eddy Co-op, Highway 107 at I-35 and downtown Eddy. Les Taylor and his friendly staff wish the Bruceville Eddy Eagles the best of luck in the playoffs. Ethan Allen, American Traditional Design with you in mind, is having a Sunday sale, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Edwards Carriage House at Ethan Allen Gallery, Highway 84 at the States Drive in Waco. Dale Caffey and Butch Henry welcome you back to Hayes Consolidated High School Stadium. And on the opening kickoff, number 24, Rusty Hunter, returns the ball up across the 20-yard line to about the 22, first and 10 for Bruce Villetti. They lead this ball game 18 to nothing. And Butch Henry now has the first half of the stat. All right, first down, Bruce Villetti has 10, Ingram has 8. Yards rushing, 152 for the Eagles and 30 for the Warriors. Yards passing, none for Bruce Valetti and 74 for Ingram. Total first half yards, 152 for Bruce Valetti and 104 for Ingram. Finish in a minute, Dale. On first and 10, Bruce Valetti with the ball. The handoff to Anthony Johnson. Johnson finds a big hole right through the middle of the line. He crosses the 35-yard line. He finds it brought down at about the 48. Alvin Leonard making the stop. First and ten for Bruceville, and they come out storming here in the second half. Probably one of the keys to the first half. Bruce Valetti did not have any turnovers. Ingram had two penalties. Bruce Valetti, two penalties, 20 yards. Ingram, three for 25 yards. First and ten. Kevin Williams is in motion, and this time the call goes through the middle. Rusty Hunter with the ball. And he is stopped immediately at the line of scrimmage. He gained maybe a half yard on the play. It'll be second down and long. Leslie Van Hooser making the stop for the Warriors. They have an excellent halftime performance by both fans. The Ingram Tom Moore band under the direction of Wes Evans and the Bruceville Eddy band under the expert direction of Charles Williams. Second down and nine this time. The wing back slot to the left side and the keeper through the middle, quarterback Robert McKee. McKee picks up about two or three yards straight up the middle. Leslie Van Hooser again on the stop. It's going to be third down and five. Now, the man appears to flee. 
patronize our sponsors. And I tell you what, the community of Bruce Belletti and the entire surrounding community, uh, Moody, Lorena, all around there have really pitched in and really made this a, a great night for Bruce Belletti stores. Tell the sponsors that you saw them and buy something from them. On third down and five, Anthony Johnson gets the call and once again finds a gaping hole. Straight through the line of scrimmage he goes. Up across midfield, down at about the 48-yard line in the secondary yard of Graham finally making the stop. But Anthony Johnson, ordinarily starting at the tackle position, is really showing me something tonight, Butch Henry, tonight at the running back spot. I tell you what, for former tackle, he's doing a heck of a job, Dale. First and ten, and this time... Johnson again with the call. Johnson barrels his way up across the 45, inside the 45 to the 43. Brought down by Pete Telford, a gain of five on the play. It's second down and five. There's a good look at our end zone camera, Leo McKinley. He's finally stopped eating long enough to turn his camera on and, and do a little work. Second and five, number 82, Rick Goff. Slot back to the left side, and this time, the fake up the middle to Anthony Johnson and the give to Rusty Hunter. Hunter is inside the 40 to about the 38, very close to another Bruceville Eddy first down. Brought down once again in the secondary by Bill Brown. With that play, Rusty Hunter now has 98 yards on 10 carries, so uh, his next carry, he will probably hit the century mark, if not go over it a little bit. It was indeed enough for a first down for Bruceville Eddy. This time the double wing formation. In motion goes Rusty Hunter. And McKee with the keeper is going to be picked up and dropped for a loss of about two or three yards. Well, they'll carry him back two or three yards. He was actually stopped near the line of scrimmage. James Morris picking up McKee and dropping him for a loss. It's going to be a loss of a couple of yards. Second down and 12. I'll tell you what, number 12 for Bruce Valetti, Anthony Johnson, a former tackle, not doing too bad. He's picked up 83 yards on only 13 carries. So uh, I would imagine he and Hunter both will go over the 100-yard rushing mark tonight. Paul Tilly will split wide to the left side this time, and on second down and 12, the backfield has two wing backs. Hunter gets the call up the middle, and Hunter is going to be stopped. A gain of only about a yard, and it's going to be third down and 11. And once again, Bruce Belletti with the win in this third quarter. And they are now in a passing situation. However, Dale, they have not had any passing yardage tonight. So uh, uh, it remains to be seen whether they will throw the ball on this down or not. Never really had to in the first half. Daryl Hogan split wide to the right side, and in motion is Kevin Williams. McKee lets it go, and this one's going to be intended for Williams in and out of his hands and defending on the play number 85 trey witt and with all he could do was put his hands in front of the face of williams and uh I, I i used to call that face guarding i thought it was a penalty well that's what you get to thinking sometimes they other an eligible receiver downfield and also uh looks like holding against bruce Lewis. So it, it won't make a difference that play will be brought back and there's a young man I know that's here somewhere tonight. I just not have seen him. And a man that I've admired for a long time, Bruce Reddy, uh, I thought it was just a great coach, especially in girls' basketball. It's Clayton Oliver. And uh, maybe before the night's over, I'll get to see him. I really thank a lot of that young man. I had admired you until that remark. <laughs> Still deciding on the field now what to do. Discussing with number 75, Ralph Herberschbacher. Pardon me, number 75, Leslie Van Hooser for the Ingram Warriors. And he is pleased with what's going to happen as Bruce Belletti will be set up now with a fourth down and 17 situation and definitely a punting situation. Back deep to receive the punt for Ingram, number 33, Gary Wilson, along with number 22, Alvin Leonard. Paul Tilly's punt is angled to the sideline, and it's going to be a dandy of a punt. The referee does not know whether it's a touchback or out of bounds. I believe he's going to call it a touchback, or he wouldn't be running all the way down there. It will they, be. They're going to have a little discussion right now. Okay. At any rate, we'll find out where the ball is when we come back after these messages. 
Stop by Miracle Food Store in Eddie or Minimax and Moody and take advantage of the big savings. TV brand U.S. grade Tom Turkey, 20 pounds and up, only 49 cents a pound. Delicious Blue Bell ice cream, a low 2.59 a half gallon. Two liter bottles of Dr. Pepper, 87 cents each. Fresh celery, 38 cents a stock. Every day is a special day of savings at the Minimax and Moody or Miracle's Food Store in Eddie. While shopping, check out the fresh, crisp produce section or the always top quality selection of meat from the meat market. Miracle's Food Store in Eddie and Minimax and Moody wishing the Eagles the best of luck. If you're looking for a new, exciting hairstyle to give your total look a boost, trust the professionals at the Uppercut. Arlen, Margie, Jim, and Marcella are eager to give you an individual look. They offer creative hairstyling from shampoos, cuts, and blow dries to the most professional perms and color. The Uppercut, conveniently located in the Central Texas Tower at 5400 Bosque in Waco, across from Lake Air Mall and next to the new HEB. For the look you want, see the people who have innovative, exciting ideas. The people at the Uppercut, backing the Bruce Valetti Eagles during the playoffs. This holiday season, add some homemade charm to your decor with beautiful Christmas decorations from Old South Antiques in Eddy. Go by and visit Joy Lynn Du Bois and Willard Murray at Old South Antiques. They have some beautiful ideas for gifts as well as a great selection of antiques that give your home a special, unique look. See the charming collection of Christmas decorations and ornaments at Old South Antiques, from wood to ceramic. For a truly beautiful holiday season, remember Old South Antiques. Wishing good luck to the Bruceville Eddy Eagles. A lot of folks have learned that Moody Furniture is the place to go for the finest in furniture values at the lowest prices. At Moody Furniture, you'll find the name brands you know, such as American Drew, Riverside, Dixie, Serta, just to name a few. But you won't find high prices to cover the costs of fancy displays and expensive buildings. Moody Furniture offers the most convenient terms with approved credit and Visa MasterCard. So take the short drive from Waco or Temple to Moody Furniture and see the four huge showrooms of fine furniture. Some folks like it so much, they want to stay. Moody Furniture on Highway 317. If you've been looking for one place that can handle all of your trailer and camper needs, come pay a visit to Duster Camper in McGregor. They offer building and repair on RVs, trailers, concession trailers, and any type of camper. Duster Camper's specialty is custom horse trailer interiors. Plus, Duster Camper supplies camper shells or covers made of fiberglass or aluminum, and they'll furnish you with most any RV appliance. Go by and visit with owners Richard and Anita Abersbacher. They'll be glad to custom build or improve any camper, motorhome, trailer, or RV you have. That's Duster Camper, 100 North Garfield, off of Highway 84 in McGregor. And the referees decided that it was indeed a touchback. First and 10 for the Ingram Warriors at their own 20-yard line. On first and 10, spread wide to the right side is Bobby Stevenson. And the give is going to be through the middle to number 33, Gary Wilson. Wilson picks up a couple, maybe three yards on the play before he is brought down by number 66 for Bruce Villetti. That is Tim Moore. It'll be second down and seven. Dale, yeah, we're using five cameras tonight. We have two on top of the press box that we're in. We have one on the press box on the opposite side. That's a reverse angle. We have the sideline camera and then the end zone camera. So uh, we have this game pretty well covered, looks to me like. Stevenson once again split wide to the right side, and this time the pitch back goes to Alvin Leonard. Leonard looking for some help, but he turns the corner. He got away from Rusty Hunter, turned the corner, and made about seven or eight yards. Plenty for a first down. It'll be first and ten for Ingram. Ball will be spotted at their own 33-yard line. All right, here comes one of those just plain old replays. It's a pitch sweep to, to Leonard. You see him get outside, makes, makes good yards. He's got away from Rusty Hunter. And that's about the third time tonight that he has slipped. But uh, so far tonight, Alvin Leonard has been held to 50 yards rushing in 13 carries. And uh, he's averaging around 110 yards per game. So uh, they've done a good job on him so far. On first down, Stevenson split wide to the left side. I formation in the backfield. Wilson, the ball carrier, and he is met head on by Rusty Hunter. No gain on the play. In fact, may have been a loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second down and nine. Of course, you uh, cannot hardly look ahead in the playoffs. You have to take one week at a time. But I know there's nothing that Bruce Belletti would like better than two weeks from now to be playing Vermont Tigers one more time because they really feel like they can beat them. First game they played earlier this season, 15 to three, Bremont. And on first and 10, or rather second down and nine, Thompson's pass is complete to Trey Whitten. 
little quickie over the middle pass. Quinton is not brought down until he reaches the 44-yard line of Bruceville. Eddie Baltelli making the stop there. But a first down for Ingram. That was a good play that time. Just a little a pop pass the first time he was throw it to him. It was not open. And he waited until he found the seam and completed it for the good game. Stevenson to the right side this time, and Wilson with the call. Gary Wilson inside the 45 to about the 43, a gain of three yards on the play. It'll be second down and seven. Tim Meyer making the stop for the Eagles. It's wild if we have a little opportunity. I think we may try to recognize the twirlers and the, the drill team for Bristol Eddie Eagles. Second down and seven. This time, Arch Graham, the wide receiver, split to the wide, uh, left side, rather, and in motion goes Stevenson. And the give is going to be to Alvin Leonard. And Leonard's going to be wrapped up and brought down for no gain on the play. Rusty Hunter there, along with number 90, Alan Trigg. It's going to be third down and eight. See what there? We always uh, kind of get with the coaches and get the pronunciations of the players. Uh, when I pimp these twirlers and cheerleaders in a minute, I just want to uh, everybody to know that I'm doing the best I can because I, I'm going to be playing it for here on a lot of them. Stevenson to the right side. Back to pass goes Thompson. Has plenty of time. Gets the pass away. It's going to be incomplete. Intended for Trey Whitten. The pass was caught. As you see, the, the young man from Ingram who caught it on the sideline at about the 30-yard line, but unfortunately he was not suited up playing for the Warriors. It's going to be a fourth down and eight situation. I tell you what, the twirlers for Bruce Letty, Marianne Whiteley, the head twirler, Kim Blackburn, Shannon Ledesma, Ledesma, Alicia McCann, Jackie, boy, I wish Shannon Stone, Oscar Seal, thank you, Raymond Britton, and Christy Williams. Fourth down and eight. Thompson back to pass. He knows his team is trailing 18 to nothing. They wanted to get some points on the board, but his pass there intended for Trey Whitten is incomplete. Bruce Belletti takes over first and 10 at their own 43-yard line, and we'll be back with more action right after this. CCC Trenching Service is locally owned and operated by John, Stephen, and Matt Cast, specializing in utility trenching, road boring, and backhoe service in Falls, Bell, and McLennan County areas. They proudly support the Bruce Belletti Eagles in their efforts in the Class A playoffs. CCC Trenching would like to encourage all the citizens of Bruce Belletti to support the Eagles in all their playoff games. CCC Trenching Service would like to say thank you to KCEN-TV for their continuous support of all sports activities. And remember, if you need any trenching or backhoe excavation, call CCC Trenching at 859-5464. The Bruce Belletti PTA would like to thank the community for all their support. And they wish the Bruce Belletti Eagles good luck during the playoffs. The Bruceville Eddy PTA proudly supports the Eagles each year with activities like a Halloween carnival and cookie sales and also sponsors various other fundraising events for the school. The Bruceville Eddy PTA supports the Eagles and urges the Bruceville Eddy community to join the PTA for a better union of children, teachers, and parents. Again, thanks to the community for all your support from the Bruceville Eddy PTA. You know, folks, these days and times, there are still a few things that you can depend on. One of them's Whataburger. It's always big, hot, juicy, and fresh. It's made to order, just the way you like it. Whataburger is what a burger should be. Always has been, always will be. That's why I say, it's not just a hamburger, it's a Whataburger. You can count on it. Kenneth and Joanne Ashley invite you to stop by Ashley's Texaco and Eddie for fast, friendly, and convenient service. You'll find low prices on self-service gas and oil, supplies to make your next picnic one to remember, cold drinks, groceries, ice cream, gas, and oil, all the reasons to make your next stop Ashley's Texaco. Stop by, shop, fill up, and visit with the friendly folks at Ashley Texaco on I-35 at the Eddie exit. Good luck, Bruce Valetti. Go Eagles. For your life, auto, business, and home insurance needs, see Waco Insurance Agency in Hewitt. Regardless of how big or how small, Waco Insurance Agency has the policy to fill your needs with fast, friendly, personal service. 
Being an independent insurance agency, Waco Insurance can give you the best possible coverage at the lowest possible premiums. Call or come by today. Waco Insurance Agency, 205 Panther Way in Hewitt. Welcome back to Jack C. Hayes Stadium. Near Austin, Bruceville Eddy versus Ingram. Bruceville Eddy with the ball, leading 18 to nothing. Third quarter of play, four minutes, 52 seconds remaining. Split backs in the backfield, a fumble on the snap. Ball still loose, and it's going to be recovered by Ingram. A number 20, Trey Fisher, recovering that fumble for the Warriors at midfield and Ingram with a big break here midway through the third quarter they trail 18 to nothing they certainly need to get some offense going and they have the ball once again first and 10 from the 50. the first turnover of the night for the Bruce Lady Eagles he just uh, had a good look at the Ingram stands and in they're fired up now they will see their team try to get back in this football game but wide to the left side Randy John the wing back in motion is Stevenson oh and the give to Wilson, Gary Wilson met behind the line of scrimmage by Alan Trigg. And Trigg had some help by number 42, Tim Meyer. A loss of two yards on the play at second down and 12. The drum major for the Eagles, Randy Gates, drum majorette Sharon Henniger. The drill team, Michelle McLeod. I'm guessing on that one. Moklean, all right, here we go again. Deborah Soto, Hanny Molina, Julie Harper, Buffy Gibson, Tasha Kirkendall and I'll finish in a minute. Arch Graham split to the left side, Stevenson to the right. And that quick in pass to Stevenson. He'll pick up three yards and no more on the play. Gets back to two that was lost on first down plus one. It'll be third down and nine. Rusty Hunter quickly up to make the stop on Stevenson. They ever had success with that play earlier in the game, but the uh, defensive backs for cornerbacks are coming up playing a little tighter for Bruce Lady. The rest of the drill team, Hammy Smith, Mary Ann Henson, who is the daughter of Margaret Henson, who is our traffic director, Channel 6, Melinda Salcedo, Gloria DeLeon, and Kay Limburg. They all did an outstanding job. Third down and nine. Stevenson, the flanker, back to the left side. And this time, Thompson back to pass, has his time, and that ball is going to be in and out of the hands of number 42 for Bruceville Eddy, almost intercepted by Tim May uh, Mayer. Meyer, rather. It'll be fourth down at nine. Don't forget tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. on Channel 6, the Dallas Cowboys and the Kansas City Chiefs. And starting tomorrow night at 7 p.m., part one of a three-part series, Kennedy. It should be an outstanding series. This time, Ingram chooses to punt the ball. Back deep to receive the punt, Robert McKee. It's a high one, it hits the wind and goes nowhere. Hits at about the 34-yard line and is brought down to the 33 by number 54, Dwayne Dewey. Bruce Villetti with a first and 10 from that point, leading at 18 to nothing. We'll be back after these important messages. Cappy along with Butch Henry back at Jackson Hayes Stadium. Bruceville Eddy with a first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. On first and 10, Anthony Johnson gets the call. He gains about a yard on the play and no more. It'll be second down at nine. Jason Poppy quickly there along with Keith Telford to make the stop. And the Ingram Tom Moore Warrior offense has not really impressed me in the second half, but their defense seems to have regrouped. Right, that's the same beer play that Bruce Levy had a lot of success with earlier in the first half, but right now the Warriors are stopping it. It's second down and nine, and from the double wing back formation, Rusty Hunter gets the pitch back, and Hunter will get one yard and no more. He's gonna be quickly brought down by number 32, Pete Telford. It'll be third down and about eight. Dale unofficially now, Rusty Hunter has 100 yards on 12 carries. So he's averaging about eight and a half yards per carry tonight. And that's, uh, that's a little bit above his season average. He's done a good job. Third down and seven. Double wing back formation. And this time the give to Wilson. 
Pardon me, Kevin Williams. For Bruceville Eddy gains about a yard and no more as Leslie Van Hooser is quickly there to stop that play. And it's going to be fourth down and a hunting situation for Bruceville Eddy. Keep in mind, they do have the stiff breeze behind them, so it should be a dandy of a punt. Back deep to receive the punt, number 22, Alvin Leonard. Gets the punt away. It's a high one. It's spiraling. It takes a Bruceville Eddy bounce, and it's still bouncing. And this is going to be a dandy of a punt, Coach Henry. It's going to be brought down inside the five-yard line. Number 20, Clifford Caldwell there to bring it down. And I actually believe it's near about the two-yard line. But, Henry, did you get a distance on the I sure did, but number one, looks like the Warriors had a block on that front. It was six three yards, and I tell you what, uh, came in a very good time. That's got the Warriors in the hole going against the stiff breeze. Uh, they'll be very fortunate. Uh, hopefully they can try to run out the clock or something so they can get the win and try to get out of this mess. One minute and 26 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. Time will become a factor as Ingram trails 18 to nothing. Bruce Valetti with that 18 to nothing lead. All the 18 points scored in the first half. On first and 10, Alvin Leonard gets the call. There is a fumble on the play, and I believe they're going to call it Bruce Valetti's ball. Indications that he did fumble the ball before he was down, and Bruce Bill Eddy has the ball in great field position. It's something that they were probably thinking about when they punted the ball a moment ago. First and goal at about the five-yard line. It's the third turnover now for the Ingram Tom Moore Warriors. And uh, uh, this one really, really does give Bruce Eddy excellent field position. And uh, they're going to have four downs to knock it in from the five-yard line. You may start having to see Willie Nelson song a little early tonight, Bill Chenry. I'll give one to mm. Daryl Hogan split wide to the right side, and that give up the middle to Anthony Johnson. Johnson gets to about the one-yard line. Van Hooser making the stop. Second and goal from about the one-and-a-half-yard line. I'm, I'm thinking quarterback sneak now. They've had good success with it, uh, although they're still out on the three-yard line, but that didn't stop them early. See what Robert McKee chooses to do this time. In motion. And Robert McKee takes the quarterback sneak into the end zone. Rusty Hunter was the young man in motion, but he did not get the call. McKee, I believe, for the third time tonight has gone in for the score on a quarterback sneak. And with 49 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Bruceville Eddy now with a commanding 24 to nothing lead over Ingram. Hell, yeah, when there's no nose guard, which it was not that time, which you not has has not been on the other two previous times. So I tell you what, it makes the quarterback sneak look pretty inviting for the offense. Paul Tilly will attempt a one-point conversion. Rusty Hunter has it down. Tilly gets his foot into it, and it is through the uprights and good. So with 49 seconds remaining in our third quarter of play, our score, Bruceville Eddy, 25. Ingram, nothing. We'll be back with more action right after this. Fast approaching, you're going to need some fast cash. See the friendly folks at first.